Hey everybody, today Rado runs through a very special announcement about Town Center, which is a game I've actually covered a few times before. If you're a long-term fan, you might have seen my run-throughs of the earlier versions of this. And I have to admit, I've always been a little, felt a little guilty about doing run-throughs for Town Center because it always had these incredibly small, limited print runs that made it almost impossible for anybody to get their hands on it if they were actually interested in the game. And the announcement I have today is that the Town Center is finally on Kickstarter. It's getting a big, huge run with its most lavish, most professional production ever. And I'm really excited about it. And so I figured since I've covered every previous iteration of this game, I might as well show you the new one as well. Now, I'm not going to do a full run through right now. If you want, um, there are two different videos I've done for that. The links for them are in the show notes. They're on the screen. So you can go check those out if you want to know a little bit more about the gameplay. But basically, in a nutshell, what Town Center Center is, is kind of a semi-abstract game where you are a city planner helping to develop and grow a city, you, you know, utilizing the uh, economic laws of supply and demand. I mean, you start working on, you know, this city grid, and basically, you start using these big, colorful cubes, these gigantic, lovely, wonderful, chunky cubes to build office buildings and uh, build parking lots and build infrastructure so that you can start building skyward because you're actually trying to make a really modern metropolis. But the office buildings, of course, they need residential um, zones so that people will fill them up to you know fill the workers. And the people who live in those need commercial zones because they want to go shopping and buy stuff with the money they make in the offices. But what's interesting about this game, as you start to expand, um, these cubes start feeding each other and, they, and the city starts to evolve on its own outside your control. Because take this, uh, this commercial zone right there. Right now, it is meeting the needs of this residential zone. But suddenly, if there, if you as a city planner were to put another residential zone next to it, it can't meet the needs, so it grows on its own. And it could grow outwards or it could grow skywards. And you know, it doesn't stop right there because uh, you know this little residential thing is handling all the needs of you know this office area. But if you were to build another office, um, you know, even on top, now that residential zone has to expand on its own. And what you're doing as a city planner is, you know, very carefully kind of massaging the expansion of this world so that, you know, as, as more and more stuff gets built, the things will grow organically on their own and you know you know and you can start creating chain reactions and you know by the end of the game after you've started building big shops and you've powered them with electric uh, you know power plants and you've gotten like different shops to over time grow and merge into one big super shop so you're having a huge boost to the economy and um, but you're you're also while you're trying to make money off the shops you're also trying to grow all these uh, residential zones organically so that they can merge and grow into um, you know super gigantic deluxe uh, you know, apartment complexes that, you know, reach into the sky, the game very quickly evolves every single time you play. And what's cool is by the time you're done, you have built this little 3D microcosm of a city and you score big, big points depending on how well it's grown and evolved, you know, organically on its own according to the laws of supply and demand. It's very, very cool. And while all this is going on, you and your opponents are engaged in a very, very tense, you know, battle of wits because every turn, there is a cube draft where only a certain number of cubes come out and players take turns, you know, grabbing them one at a time. Oh, this turn I really want to get, um, you know, another black cube so I can make another parking lot so I can get more money. So I should probably grab one of these. But if I do that, it will expose this purple, um, or it wouldn't be a purple office place. It'll expose this office place, which I know my opponent really, really needs to make their, um, you know, their residential zone. So I shouldn't take that one. I'll take this one because I don't think anybody particularly, you know, if anybody gets power, I don't particularly mind. And then when somebody else exposes that one, her I can grab, and then, and then I, you know, I've got the perfect things I needed if you play smart and you pay attention to what your opponents are doing. So it's really these two halves of this very, very interesting cube draft, and then this really fun tactile 3D building experience. So like I said, if you want to know more about the particulars of how it plays, you know, its rhythms and whatnot, you can check out the run-throughs I've done in the past. Um, but I just wanted to really kind of show off that, you know, this is the this is the third iteration in terms of, you know, materials you have to play with. And by far, I think this was the best. Because I have to admit, I love these cubes. These are the biggest cubes I've seen in a Euro ever. I mean, you know, they almost get to where they feel like they're big enough to be like childhood building blocks. And that's what really makes this version of the game so special because, you know, when it's all laid out there and they're so 
so big and they're so chunky, you really feel like you've built something. The earlier versions, you know, the, the scale wasn't quite there. It was a much smaller, tighter compact. In the first version, in fact, they were so small, you would accidentally try to move things around and you knock stuff over. But that's really not a problem with this new version. There's also other um, really nice improvements too. You know, this game is now being built and designed with the future in mind. Uh, you know, the developers I've talked to, you know, they already have expansions in mind to add more stuff to it. In fact, actually, you can get two copies of this game now because the rules have been updated to actually allow, normally it only goes up to four players, but now, if you get two copies, the rules have been massaged, so it can go up to eight players. And honestly, I think this would be a great um, game to play with more and more players because you always have this really tense interaction during the uh, draft cube, and then everybody gets their cubes, and then everybody gets to go and build their city and evolve and expand, and you'll try and run an economy that gives them more money so they can continue building. It's really, really neat. I'm really, really excited. I, I picked up you know this early version of it at Essen, and once again, it was in very limited quantity. So, if you're at all interested, if you've ever been interested in this game, now is the time to go check it out on Kickstarter um, so it can finally have the wider distribution that I feel it's always deserved. So finally, it's Town Center's day to shine. Anyway, so I just want to make a really quick video to, for you guys this morning to give you an idea, in case you didn't know that it was out there because I'm actually pretty excited about it. And I can't wait to see how the game continues to evolve in the future if this Kickstarter campaign goes well, which I, I firmly believe it should because it's a sweet, fun... Actually, this is one of the few games that, you know, Jen and I, we enjoy playing ourselves. This is one of the few games I actually enjoy playing solo because really, it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube that you are designing yourself as the game goes and it kind of grows on its own following a set of rules that you can control. There's really nothing else out there quite like it. It's really, really unique, really, really special, a fun abstract game that still follows very concrete, grounded, real world economic you know, systems and it's a, it's a blast. Anyway, that's it folks. Town Center special announcement for the Kickstarter campaign that you can go check out. You know, the uh, link for it is on screen and in the show notes. So by all means, if you're interested, take a look. And that's it folks. Thanks for watching everybody. You can watch my older videos of it if you like. Remember those older videos were with much older components. Very, very different. You can almost think of those as prototypes for this, the true commercial version. Okay folks, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Uh, bye bye.